Now, players and coaches at Hammanskral Tennis Club have been rewarded for their hard work and impressive results in recent years, with Tennis South Africa announcing its extended support of the club as part of the Growth Point Center of Excellence program. Uh, the launch of the support recognizes both the club's excellent work and the exciting young talent emerging in the community surrounding the Haman Skral Tennis Club. Newsroom Africa's Yoyulwe Koshe is currently at the club now. Yoyulwe, thank you uh, for joining us. You were showing us a racket earlier on. You are on a tennis court. How's your serve looking? Well, a very good afternoon to you, Clement, as well as to the viewers. Well, I wish the viewers could have seen uh, what I was dishing out here a couple of minutes ago. I'm not a person that likes to talk. I'm more of an action person. So if you missed it, then unfortunately you would have missed it. I had to give the kids a chance, of course, to show off what they're about because my time has come and gone and they are now the future. So I had to give the racket back to the people that are carrying out tennis future. But to speak more about these children is a person that knows more about these children, a person that is a, a big figure to them when you speak to these children, an inspirational figure to them a person that has brought them to this Hammerskral Tennis Club where we are right now in Hammerskral and that is one of the junior coaches here at the Hammerskral Tennis Club uh, Sepang, Sepang Chan that is Sepang thank you so much for your time um, tell us more about you know how you got into this club yourself you know what made you get into the sport of tennis and also decide to take a mentorship role to some of these kids that we're seeing behind us here Okay, uh, good, good morning to you, good morning to the viewers at home. Uh, uh, my name is Saban Chani. Uh, I'm the junior coach of uh, Mascaral Tennis Club. I'm actually considered the head coach at the moment. Okay, uh, well, starting from my junior age, I fell in love with the sport. Uh, I was doing the sport at uh, Temba Stadium. Uh, from, the, from, from then, uh, falling in love with the sport, I went on to being a competitive tennis player. I uh, played tournaments from the junior level, going up up until to, to become a senior. Uh, yeah, uh, to become a coach, it was a good decision I've made at the moment, as the opportunities were not the same then and, and now. So I ended up uh, getting the mind of becoming a coach. Uh, uh, I had an inspiration of building the, communi the community as time goes, uh, from the top coaches as they've been inspiring and motivating me going forward. Uh, uh, the coaches are Paul and uh, Simon Tat. They are the, the mentors, they are my motivation, they are my everyday parents. So they are one who are pushing me to become the coach that I am today, build the community the way I, t the way I want to. And, and you speak about in your time when you were just one of these kids having the ambitions to become a professional tennis player or compete at a high level. You say the opportunities weren't there at that particular time. We understand that has changed. We understand it's about to change even more now as uh, Tennis South Africa has come on board and has recognized Hamas Girl Tennis Club. And they say they want to be a part of your guys' future going forward. Tell us a bit more about what they'll be providing and putting to the table for these young kids. Yes, uh, when Tennis South Africa came on board to assist Haman Skral, of course, they first started by recognizing it on its event, uh, it being an indiv indiv uh, independent uh, project. Uh, they recognized it uh, during their tournaments as we've been going there and competing. So them recognizing the club made them, uh, gave them an interest of giving support where it can. Uh, of course, the support they offered now is for six months. It's something like a probation. So from then, they'll just see uh, what to do more. So we, we're hoping to do a, a good use of the, the little bit that they give us, which will come in handful, as it will feed more kids and it will help us to increase the number that we've been giving opportunities to. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you guys got the news, and you were able to share it to, to some of these young aspiring tennis players. How was their reaction to these news? Well, we started uh, by handing the news to their parents. Mostly we called out a community parents meeting for all the tennis players that are here. Uh, we, we gave in the news to the parents. 
to the kids as well later on after their parents. So it was like, even though they don't understand much about tennis, the parents you know at home, but they understood that it will help more and then it will help us to improve everything that we've been doing good in the community. And before Tennis South Africa came on board, you're already doing a lot independently for these children. What are some of the challenges that you guys had before Tennis South Africa came on? And where do you think those challenges will now be alleviated or the, you guys are going to get a lot more help from now? Things that you don't have to worry about that much anymore, basically. Okay. Uh, first of all, equipment. Uh, we've been running short of equipment, tennis balls. We've been using pop tennis balls. I think most will understand the tennis ball is uh, just a tennis ball, but to us it's not just a tennis ball. To tennis it's not just a tennis ball. We have different kinds of tennis balls. So everyone was training with the same tennis ball. Uh, I think the support that we, we're going to get will make a difference is that, in that. Uh, tennis rackets, tennis strings, as they, the strings can break any time. Tennis grips as well. So in terms of equipment, Tennis South Africa will come in handful. Mm. Uh, going forward with the tournament, uh, as they're going to sponsor us with some tournaments and transportation, that will come in handful because, uh, you know, traveling to tournaments, it's expensive. Going for more tournaments to get uh, some points, it's also expensive. Petrol, we're trying to get these kids to, we used to try to get them to, uh, pay contributions as we are offering them a bus to take to the tournament for some toll gates because we preferably use the national route which is the safest for them and for everyone mm -hmm. yes uh, yeah in terms of that it will help us a lot uh, food as well for these kids and as they are going for tournaments you know sometimes they used to come with no lunch you know uh, their background is so painful too if you can listen to all of them their stories you will be touched mm -hmm. And um, just on that topic of tournaments, we understand through your guys' attendance of tournaments, you were able to give opportunities to other, other children who have now gone on to schools that give them better facilities day in, day out to become, you know, better at their tennis. Talk to us about some of the kids that have been recognized and, have get, and got scholarship opportunities elsewhere from this club. Yes, uh, good recognitions out there for Amaskaral Tennis Club on its own, yeah. Uh, as we go out uh, playing these events, uh, our kids are being recognized uh, perfectly so. Uh, we have a kid who had went to Cape Town uh, last year, started last year. Uh, it's about myself. Uh, he's at the Anthony Harris Tennis Academy in Cape Town. Uh, he has been offered a scholarship there. He's doing homeschooling. Uh, he's, he's performing very well. We're getting good feedback from them. Uh, and we're hoping to bring more players like that, you know. Uh, we have, again, uh, players that went to Pretoria Boys High, who got the scholarship to, to be in that uh, school, uh, which is a better school with better tennis, uh, better opportunities for them as well. So they're also doing good. We're getting nice feedbacks from the schools. And, yeah, that's why we're teaching them. That's, that's why we're giving them out for more for them. Oh, and, and, and also, we understand as well that this is more than just a tennis club. It means so much more to this community. What other aspects do you guys take care of when it comes to these children? Yes, uh, Hamas Girl Tennis Club, on its own, it's not just a club. It's not just a tennis club, but it's a community project. So it assists the community in lots of ways. Uh, first of all, we're trying to build professional tennis players from this uh, disadvantaged background. Uh, we're trying to offer opportunities to these kids, not only tennis opportunities, but life skill opportunities. Uh, we talk mostly about uh, their schoolwork, uh, the, the things that they're interested things that they love. We try to guide them and teach them the right things to do. You know. Uh, respect, uh, being humble, how to talk to each other, communication, it also counts. And just lastly, what, are, what does the future look like for this tennis club? What would you like to see a lot of these kids achieve going forward, coming out of your guys' hands? Well, uh, talking about the future, uh, I have my own goals about the club, which is to push it and to produce more players, good players 
good people, uh, professional people. Not only professional tennis players, but professional in whichever profession they choose to go for. If they want to be street sweepers or doctors, or they must do good in whatever they want to. And we're trying to push them and guide them to do good in everything they want to. So, Pang, thank you so much for your time. And we want to wish you the best of luck going forward. And we say keep doing the good work for the community as well as these children. Hopefully we'll see a lot of them pushing on to bigger things. And we'll see them on our screens very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, that was uh, Sepang Chane, who is one of the coaches here at the Hammerskraut Tennis Club, speaking about the opportunity they've received, having got recognition from Tennis South Africa. And Tennis South Africa, the board of tennis in the country, saying, we see what you guys are doing. We would like to come on board to help you produce more talent and give you the resources to produce more top talents. So who knows, behind me, there might be a future Kevin Andersons, Rafael Nadal's, as well as Serena Williams's. Uh, coming from this particular club. Tepang spoke about how he wishes the club can go forward and have better human beings, not just tennis players. So that's the story from us here at the Hammersdorff Tennis Club in Hammersdorff. Back to you. All right. Yeah, you know. Thank you.